We are in our final week of Food for Frontline. You have donated more than $30,000 to help local restaurants and feed essential workers. Today, 10 News anchor Lindsay Ward takes us to one nonprofit that heard your thank you as they continue to work around the clock responding to a new kind of crisis. Inside the God's Pit Crew warehouse, volunteers are building the frame of two homes for victims of March's tornadoes in Tennessee. It has been about as crazy as crazy could be. Founder Randy Johnson says right after storms blew through the volunteer state, COVID touched down in the U.S., sending everyone home. But the pandemic experience for this nonprofit staff has been much different than most. It seems like the world stopped and we got accelerated. Typically, God's Pit Crew runs on hundreds of volunteers, but during the stay-at-home order, no more than 10 at a time could help. So what do we do? We've got to help. This is what we're built for. It's what we're made for. Same amount of time, we basically have responded to five major disasters. Amazingly, with a skeleton crew, the nonprofit has sent out more than 50 semi-truckloads of donations as part of coronavirus and tornado relief. We're really happy to prepare all the stuff. We're really happy to cook the food for the people. Across town, Joe and Mima's staff hustled to crank out hot sandwiches bought with your donations to Food for Frontline, giving this family-owned business a boost. People have been good to us, so we're really happy about that. They unload the meals at the God's Picker warehouse and wheel them into the break room. Just on behalf of Channel 10 and the viewers who watch, they want to say thank you for everything that you guys have done throughout this pandemic. God's Picker wouldn't exist without volunteers. We knew we loved them. <laughs> we knew we needed them. But we really know now, after having to have so many of them stay away, and try to continue to operate without them. We really understand they are the heart of this organization. Without them, it simply does not exist. While COVID relief continues here, these folks are also moving on to the next project, helping a family that is now homeless and sick in Tennessee. No place to live, all your belongings gone. You lost your house, lost your vehicles, lost all your belongings in the storm. Now her husband's in the hospital. She can't even go in the hospital to be with him. Uh, she was just completely devastated. Proof, these volunteers won't let the pandemic stop them from helping those in need. 